I'm behind on health tips because I'm out of town filming right now. Um, so this one's been on my heart and I hear a lot of people and a lot of cooks, you know, give recipes for um, spending as little time in the kitchen as possible. Here's something so you don't have to spend all day in the kitchen. And I feel like there can be so much negativity and stress around the kitchen. And I think it's neat instead for the message to be make your kitchen so fun that it's where everyone wants to be. I mean, when we hear people talk about the memories that they had as a child, their best memories, they don't say, oh, I remember being with my mom in the living room. No, it was in the kitchen. The best memories are made around food, and a lot of times they're made in the kitchen. So my tip today is to make your kitchen someplace you want to be. And that other people will want to be, that it will captivate and just magnetize other people because of its positive power. So whether that's, I don't know, a new plant, a light, reorganizing it some different way, painting the walls, or, or maybe just little, um, little notes up that remind you to think positively in there. If you're in a situation where you have plenty of food, then enjoy nourishing yourself and the opportunity to nourish others because a lot of times those concepts go together. The nourishment starts long before the meal when we're in the kitchen nourishing our relationships as we cook with our kids or, or your family or whoever it may be or just getting to hang out by yourself after a long day. Start to see the kitchen as a positive place, food as a positive thing, and nourishment as a wonderful thing. So whatever that means for you, change your kitchen and make it emotional. Make it a place that you enjoy being. So healthy eating will be easier and more fun. And um, that's the tip for the day. Have a great night.